What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Josh Miss Prime here. In this video, we go over a deadlift workout. It's a mini deload day. So I'm not trying to go super heavy. I'm just getting some work in, getting the blood flow. But at the end, you will see that I go for a PR in a lower weight. And uh, I'm really excited about it because that PR, although in a lower weight, um, is me lifting a weight that was really hard for me to get like two or three years ago, just one time, and I'm lifting it like multiple times. I'm not gonna tell you how many, because I want you to wait to see. It's super exciting, but uh, enjoy. This was a deadlift day in December, December deadlifts. Here we see my big ass doing some warm ups. But for those of you that don't do gym stuff very often, or or maybe you do, but maybe you just don't do uh, powerlifting movements or warm up with, with the barbell. The purpose of this isn't necessarily to get strong with a warm up. And of course, it makes it like, it, it's almost obvious, like, Josh, we know we're, you're warming up. But there is one other thing that's actually going on, which is you're priming your central nervous system and you're kind of every movement that we do actually is a memorized neural pathway in our brain so by doing these warm-ups you're also priming your central nervous system and neural pathways so that once you get to the big lift they're ready to go and they're they're primed and um, the central nervous system in particular is a very important thing when you consider your lifts because if you, if you lift too heavy or if you lift uh, too intensely, you can actually burn out your, your CNS and then it's very hard to recover and you, you really, you can't come back for several days. Um, and I have done that once or twice before. It's a common thing that uh, I've seen CrossFitters do when I was in CrossFit. And a lot of times that's where, where some of the injuries happen. If your central nervous system can't keep up with the intensity, whether it's an amount of weight or just you going balls to the wall, then your your body will suffer. It won't be able to recover in time. And then the next time you, you come up to bat, it, it's going to be very difficult for you to perform lifts that are usually easy for you. <clears throat> Speaking of which, I was not feeling very strong on this day at all. Lots of things felt strange. Um, these happen from time to time. Nothing hurt. I am trying out a, a, a new kind of lifting position. If you can see, my legs are about shoulder width apart. My arms are directly outside of, of my knees. And when I start, if you wait for the next... Uh, the next clip, when I start, I sit into it one or two times, and then I when then I pull, and when I pull, I lift my head up really high. In the past, I didn't do this. In the past, my favorite position to do deads was um, was by being much more narrow with my stance. A little bit wider with my arms than than my knee position and I would have a neutral head then lift it once the bar was about to my knees so this is a 
I'm trying some different things based on some advice. And I, I've even, I've started with my, my feet almost right up on the bar where my shins are touching, where usually I would leave a little bit of space so that when I bend down, they were touching. So see, there, there I am sitting, lifting my head, taking a deep breath, and then lift. These were all sets of five. That's part of the program I'm doing. I'm uh, sticking to five, three, one right now, which is a pretty common program, but that's only because at, at this stage, it hasn't been very difficult for me to keep up. There you can see the bar is starting to burn on my body. And so I took a couple clips. That's just the cost of doing business when you, when you deadlift. <clears throat> now, I've got straps on. Like I said, I wasn't feeling super strong. It's not a heavy day. It's not like doubles or singles. So because we're doing sets of five, I have no issues at all wearing wrist wraps. Or straps, I guess is what they're called. Because I don't want to ruin my hands so that in a week or two, if I do have to lift a little heavier, I still have my calluses. <laughs> and, and it's a fine line you have to play between creating your calluses by not using wrist wraps uh, or wrist straps and, and by using them so that you don't completely destroy your hands. The other thing is maintaining grip strength and... And just being used to hand positioning because... Uh, so right there, I'm going to cut myself off. I used some smelling salts. That's because even though this isn't a super heavy lift for me, this is actually mini deload week, uh, I wanted a little bit more gas in the tank, a little bit more adrenaline because I knew I was going to try to lift uh, more than five and try to go for a PR, which I got. So this is 525 pounds. I'm supposed to lift it for five. I think I lift it for seven here. So for me, that's a PR. I don't think I've ever, I think in terms of reps of heavier weight, I think the most I've ever done is 495 for eight. So 525 for seven, that's a new PR at this body weight. And, um, and I'm very satisfied with that. I'm trying to do more for the next few weeks, months. That's the type of exercise I'm trying to do. Those are the types of PRs. I'm, I'm just going through it again. Here's me using the smelling salts. And what that is, that's like kind of like ammonia. Sometimes it's not, but uh, I think that particular brand was. And it, it just wakes you up. It gets a rush of adrenaline into your system, <laughs> makes you cry. <laughs> like right here, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but my eyes are super teared up. But it uh, it just gives you a little bit more gas in the tank so that you can you can push the extra mile. I probably could have gotten an eighth rep, but I was very satisfied with seven. And my philosophy is. Uh, don't don't lift so so hard. Don't press so hard on the pedal that you have no more gas left in the tank, because that's when injuries happen. That's when you can hurt yourself. Uh, if you can't perform the movement with pretty good form, then you're in danger of hurting yourself. And once I got to the sixth and seventh rep, I could feel. My, my, <clears throat> my form breakdown I could feel the reps getting slower <coughs> and the last thing I want to do is break myself because then I can't come back and do this for a few weeks which ultimately means less gains this is a burnout and this I think I end up doing 315 for 18 reps maybe 19 reps and uh, again I'm, I'm not trying to kill myself. So once I get to the, say, 16th rep, I can tell I'm starting to peter out. My energy's leaving me. I can feel, uh, can feel glycid, uh, anyways, it, 
what I try to do when I feel that is stop because that's the safe way to do it and there you have it that was my deadlift workout okay ladies and gentlemen hope you liked that video if you did go ahead and give it a like if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll have access to all my stuff when it comes out if you think someone might enjoy this or get value from this go ahead and share it on all the social medias and if you have any questions drop a comment down below okay till next time take it easy